Fathom enables you to create powerful professional reports quickly. Many business owners or stakeholders are overwhelmed and intimidated by financial statements and spreadsheets filled with numbers. The visual components of Fathom reporting, combined with tables and commentary, allow you to tell the business's story. You can effectively communicate the current financial performance, how and why the business got here, and where it is heading. Report components can be dropped or dragged into a report and quickly shifted around. The various tables, charts, and text options are easy to edit, so you can go beyond the numbers and provide clarity and confidence to stakeholders. Template sharing allows you to scale your reporting by sharing report templates with other companies or groups. Report schedules make it easy to automate monthly, quarterly, and yearly reports. You'll spend less time tediously creating spreadsheets and financial statements and more time strategizing with and advising stakeholders. When you first access Fathom's Report Center, you're taken to Reports. You can access the other areas of the Report Center using the left sidebar. In Fathom, reports are primarily sorted according to their status, draft, or published. Suppose you've invited other team members, stakeholders, or clients into Fathom. You can tailor their access by the report type. So if you're working on a draft report, its visibility will be limited until you publish it. You can also make report templates accessible to only certain users. Report templates are a mold you can use to create future reports. If reports are the cookie, report templates are the cookie cutter. Fathom has several ready-to-go, predefined templates that can help you jumpstart your reporting. You can create reports from these templates and use them as is or customize them according to the business's reporting needs. Suppose you used a predefined template to create a report. You then customize that report and want to use it again in the future. You can turn any report into a custom template. Custom templates are report templates you or your team have created or customized. They may have been designed specifically for the entity you're currently working in or shared from another company or consolidated group in your Fathom organization. With template sharing, you can efficiently create a standardized report and share it with other companies and groups. You can also limit which users have permission to edit a template you've shared. That way, they can only edit reports created from the template, not the template itself. You can quickly sort through your templates using the bolded smart text at the top of the template list. You're also able to search through your templates and reports with the search option on the left sidebar. Let's go ahead and create our own custom report template from scratch. For this example, we'll create a monthly report template. We'll name the template, choose a reporting period, and select the default page orientation for the template. Now we're in the report editor. We can edit the header to add the business or firm's logo to the report. Adding a logo for the business or firm enables you to customize the report to the business. You'll notice that there is both an online and print version of the header. You can invite stakeholders into Fathom to view the report online or share the PDF version with them. Make sure you add the logo to both versions of the report if you want it to appear in the online and PDF versions. You'll also find additional formatting options in this menu. You can access the different types of reporting components like text, charts, and tables and financials from the left sidebar of the report editor. A menu will open when you select a reporting component option. From here, you can grab and drag components into your report. If there's smart text at the top of the menu, clicking on it will reveal additional reporting elements. For the first section of our report, we'll draw our audience's attention to the most important metrics for the business. We can use the introduction to define the scope of our report and propose an action plan. Let's grab a text component with two columns and drag it into our report. Double click to begin typing in a text box. Because we plan on using this template to create future reports, we can use placeholder text when we reference specific financial or KPI results. You can access placeholder text via the at icon at the bottom of the text box or by using the at symbol on your keyboard. You're able to reference KPI results, profit and loss, balance sheet, and chart of accounts line items. When we use this template to create a report in the future, 
the placeholder text will update with the future results. There's also the option to reference a period in the text. You can find the date or period options by clicking on the calendar icon. Observations are another text component that helps you quickly summarize how vital metrics are performing. They're also a great tool for automating your reporting because the message updates depending on the metrics results. If you hover over the observation, you can click on the green pencil icon to bring up the component's customization menu. Observations allow you to add if-then statements to your reports. The message that appears is based on how the selected metric has performed. When this template is used to create a future report, the commentary will show up according to the updated results. We are focusing on these three metrics for this report and highlighting them in the introduction. Let's dive into each metric in the following sections of our report. We'll start with gross profit and operating profit. We can add a trend chart to our report to provide visual clarity. Once you add a chart to your report, you can further customize it by editing the chart. You can add or remove variables from the chart, choosing from the familiar four options, KPI, profit and loss, balance sheet, or chart of accounts line items. Each variable can be displayed as a line, bar, or area chart. And you're able to change the color for each variable as well. If you have branded colors, then you can enter hex codes for the colors. The three dots icon in Fathom is a very powerful icon you do not want to overlook. It reveals the overflow menu with additional customization options, and you'll find this icon used throughout Fathom. To help clarify the gross profit and operating profit performance, we can highlight the components of gross and operating profit. Key number charts give important metrics the real estate they deserve. You can customize the chart to display a comparison, add or remove the visual, and add a description for further commentary. The trend and key number charts clarify how the business's profitability has changed over time. Some additional commentary further explains these trends. Because the cost of sales has increased compared to the same month last year, we want to dig a little deeper into its components. So we can add a breakdown chart to our report. By default, the chart breaks down a classification by account. If you're working on a report for a consolidated group or a company with divisions, you'll also be able to break down a selected metric by company or division. You can reorder reporting components by grabbing and dragging them. To change the size of the components, use the arrows on the side. If you're just getting started with Fathom reporting, you may not be aware of all of the chart and table options. Page layouts are a great way to become familiar with all of the possibilities because they bring several different reporting components into a report at once. Suppose you wanted to add another profitability visual to this report. We can go into the profitability section and choose one of the options from there. In this case, we've brought the profitability tool from the analysis tools into our report along with a few key number charts. Many of the analysis tools can be found in charts or page layouts. We can customize the charts by adding comparisons. You're also able to remove any unwanted reporting components. If you brought non-financial data into Fathom, you can reference those metrics in reports. Types of non-financial data may include the number of employees. A medical practice might import the number of patients or the number of canceled appointments. 
A creative agency may report on the number of current contracts or projects. This company offers software as a service, so we imported data on the number of subscriptions. A pie chart can help us illustrate how many subscriptions there are, broken up by subscription type. To quickly add another pie chart, we can duplicate the first. The second chart will show how much monthly revenue each subscription type generates. The two charts together emphasize how the higher value subscriptions contribute to the business's success. For additional data, we can bring in a KPI table. Like charts, you can further customize tables once you've added them to a report. Metrics can be added to or removed from the table. Once again, we have the familiar four options. You can change the reporting frequency for the table. Additional columns can show how a metric performs compared to the target. In this case, not all of the metrics have met their targets. However, comparing to prior periods shows us that all of the metrics have improved. We can motivate team members by highlighting the column showing the improved results. You can allow report viewers to export a table to Excel. If they're viewing the report online, they'll be able to download an Excel version of the table. Additional trend charts and commentary help complete this section. Because a lot of the reporting elements in this section are laid out horizontally, we'll go ahead and change the orientation of this section to landscape. After diving into the most important metrics, we'll provide some information on the business's overall performance. A financials table lets us compare the current financial performance with the budget or prior periods. We can change the type of financial statement and the level of detail shown in the financial statement. Changing the level of detail can help our audience focus on overall performance instead of analyzing each account. You can also hide accounts with no results to simplify a financial statement. If you're reporting on a consolidated group or a company with divisions, you can filter the financials table to show the results for a specific company or division. You'll also be able to add a financials by company or a financials by division table to a report. This table shows the financial performance of each company or division in side-by-side -side columns. We've shown how the business is performing with visuals and added commentary and tables to explain the why behind the business's performance. For the report's final section, let's focus on the future of the business. Because we created a forecast for this company in Fathom, we can add those projections to our report. A financial trends table lets us view the business's financial results across several periods. We can extend the date range into the future and add a projection based on our forecast, a scenario, or the budget. Trend charts can also be customized to show future projections. You can add forecast or budget projections to a trend chart using the overflow menu and advanced settings. There are several forecast specific reporting components, including multiple table options. Showing the underlying data behind a forecast or scenario can make stakeholders more confident in the projections. For example, the balance sheet layer detail enables us to explain how cash on hand is forecast. The editing options allow you to filter the table to display cash on hand. The table lists the opening balance, 
All of the profit and loss in balance sheet movements and the tax payments impacting cash, ending with the projected closing amount. Forecast-specific charts include scenario comparison charts, which illustrate how a metric performs across multiple scenarios. Once you finish putting together the report, you can preview the published online version. Online reports are dynamic, so the report will update if the underlying data updates in Fathom. You can also download a PDF of the report. PDF reports are static and remain unchanged if the company or group data is updated in Fathom. You may see a disclaimer statement on the PDF version. Admin level users can edit this disclaimer in the organization settings of the account. You can also remove the disclaimer from the report template via the template settings. In the template settings, you can change the template name and choose to allow report viewers to add comments to reports created from this template. If comments are turned on, report viewers can leave questions or additional insights on a published report created from the template. You'll be alerted to any comments via the notifications on the top bar of the My Companies page. Suppose you're happy with each section of the report, but you want to reorder the sections. Using the outline option, you can quickly reorder report sections and even duplicate them. Now that we're happy with this template, we can create a schedule to automate our reporting. The back arrow takes us back to the report center. Any changes we made while editing the report have been automatically saved. You can access report schedules from the left sidebar of the report center. Because we may want to review or add commentary to this report before publishing it, we'll set this schedule to create a draft report with our template. We'll have this schedule create the monthly report seven days after the end of the month to allow time for the books to close. And we can have Fathom notify us via email when the report has been created. Let's fast forward to seven days after the end of the month. The schedule created a draft report from our template and notified us. We've reviewed the report and it's ready for our stakeholders. When we publish the report, we can notify them via email, encouraging them to log into Fathom and view the report online. Lastly, the Excel reports area of the report center houses several reports you can download directly to Excel.